Hello, um, it's Dr. Smith here and I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about suicide today. Um, I did make a video previously about the three myths of suicide. Um, I did it back in September, so you can go back to my profile and watch it if you have time. Recently, um, there was the death of Twitch, who is the DJ for the Ellen DeGeneres show. And um, as far as I read, he was a husband, he was a father, a brother, a great friend, mentor, all of it. And he completed suicide as far as we know. And I kind of wanted to talk about, um, not him in particular, so condolences to his family, but how we as individuals can support our friends. A lot of us or a lot of people that I see online is, hey, reach out, talk to a friend. Um, I'm here if you need me, just call me. And I want to provide a little bit of context and cushion around that conversation. Sometimes when people are pretty much wanting to end their life, there are a lot of things that have been building up to that point. So first, you can ask yourself, do you, are, well, do you have the capacity to uh, hold this information that this person is getting ready to tell you? A lot of us say reach out or a lot of us say call, give me a call and not prepare for what those individuals have to say. Um, so it's important to see if you have the emotional capacity to hold it um, because some of these things um, can be very, 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 very traumatic um, or very not hurtful to you, but hurtful to them. Um, and it could be very eye opening and shocking. Um, number two, a couple things that we look for as therapists when it comes to someone who is suicidal is first, we look for the intent. And so we need to know, does this person intend to follow through with what they want to do? Number two, we look for access. Does this person have access to whatever they want to use? Which leads me to part to number three, which is means. Like, what means is this person trying to use to complete this? Is it a gun? Is it a knife? Is it pills? Um, what is it? And typically, when it comes to research, men tend to use uh, direct, um, uh, uh, what is it, instant um, um, weapons like guns versus women tend to use more pills. Um, and then lastly, four, like, we look at does this person have a plan? Like, is this going to go through? And if all those things are there, then we make sure that we implement the resources that we need. But I wanted to just provide context for you guys. So be well and be safe.